Hello, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to make a sun, a sun object or a directional light object in Unity um, rotate the world that you've created. So here's a little world that I've created and it's got a, a fountain. That's very, <laughs> that's not important at all. That's just for a um, another uh, tutorial that I'm working on. Okay, so um, let's stop that, not waste uh, these balls. Right. There's the sun. So this is just a directional light. Um, so we want to get this rotating around our world. So let's get coding as quickly as possible. Right. So firstly, in your assets folder, um, I assume, <laughs> uh, create yourself a, a script. I'm going to go in C sharp. Maybe I'll do it in JavaScript if you like. I could do that. I, I, I couldn't do that, but I'll try and do that if you want me to. And let's call it orbit. There we go orbit you can call it whatever you like sun move you could call it you could call it the circle of life I don't know what you want to call it right so first of all um, we we were all in red there I didn't know why it was all red okay so unity's happy with our script so we don't need the start function maybe can we do this in one line let's try it let's try it in one line and maybe I'll finish this video in about two minutes right so we we want this script to be attached to the sun. Let's save the script now and attach it to the sun before we try and run it and nothing happens and then we change everything and don't realize we haven't connected it, uh, attached it. There we go. So it's definitely on our sun uh, directional light. Okay. Um, by the way, let's just have a look at that. Uh, the sun, I've just renamed the directional light that you will get in a default Unity scene, sun, um, and it's got a transform. We're going to be dealing with its rotation. So the transform has got three vector three um, subcomponents, I guess, on it. Um, and we're going to be changing one of these values so it gives the illusion that it's moving around the world. Um, and it's, of course, got a light, directional light. And now we've got our object script on. Right, one line. Okay, so we want to get a hold of this transform, which is the the sun's transform. Um, and then we want to use a function, rotate around. How have we got this in here? Does it exist? <laughs> yes. <laughs> rotate around. Um, and you'll see. Can you see my monitor? Can you see that? Oh. <laughs> it's made my code big, but not the um, not this little dialogue. Anyway, we've got three parameters um, to deal with. Where we want the sun to rotate around, so we just want the middle of our world. So um, that's called uh, vector three zero. So in Unity, you can you can uh, take advantage of pre-built um, vectors and a vector 3 um, I guess class has got um, the dot zero already built in and that just means zero 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 so the very middle of the world so that's what the the, the Sun is going to rotate around then we want the the axis so that means kind of like is it going to go around on the, the y-axis or the what's that the x-axis or the z-axis <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> um, so we want um, the the x-axis, I believe. Let's try that. So again, we can refer to this vector 3 pre-built axis. And we've got the up axis, which is the y-axis. We've got the right axis, which is the x-axis. That's the one we want. Or we've got the forward axis, which is the z-axis. Um, so I think we want the x-axis or the right axis. And the final parameter, so the final argument we want to put in is by how many degrees. Um, so in fact, let's put, let's make our own um, variable. That will mean I'm writing more than one line. Um, so we could make this accessible via the inspector. We could say public float uh, theta. Theta is just like a mathematical keyword for angle, <laughs> so I'm going to use that. Theta, um, and we'll give it a default value at initialization. So theta equals I don't know, um, 0.1. Okay, um, so this should work. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. 
and we'll see if our 0 0.1 is too fast or too slow or not working at all of course um, let's put the uh, I can press G and I can put my fountain on that's very important change the balls to red okay do we have oh we have a moving Sun it's going can you see that it is moving can we see any shadows moving <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's um, let's pause this and let's make the sun move faster. 0.1, let's change that by a factor of 10. So 1, and now, yep, yeah, now it's really moving. There we go. <laughs> so a lot faster. And now we can see the, the shadows really racing. There we go. And I've got a lot of lag. What's that from? Something to do with the shadows, probably, and all of these balls that I haven't optimised. Right, so I'm going to race up this hill and see if we can watch the sunset. Um, but there you go. You're, oh, that's lovely. There you go. <laughs> to have day, day, and, um, day and night cycles, you just need to rotate your sun around a particular angle. Um, there it is. I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Happy Easter and April, Fool, April Fools. Oh, I didn't do an April Fools, though. Okay, I'm wearing a hat. April Fools, I, I'm wearing a hat.